Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again with another uh, Paladins video, and we'll be doing it Cassie today, a character I haven't covered in nearly a year, it's been way too long, and we'll be playing with the role setup today, which I'd say is definitely the one I see her the most with, but she is very similar to where she was a year ago, so I don't really need to do too much here for the intro, although the build is a little bit different, everyone runs pretty much the same thing these days, roll reset, roll reset, heal on the roll, two other cards are also kind of nice, the other builds for like the Q and the big game follow the same sort of formula, but... Yeah, this is pretty much standardized at this point. Of course, a little bit rusty with Cassie, so don't expect me to do the best here, but I did play a game before recording the video, and I did like 22 and 2 or something on like a TDM, which I think is where she does the best, although she still does really, really well in Siege and Onslaught. The more casual, obviously, you can spam the roll and get a little bit more crazy with it. All right, so for the first one, looks like we're meant to carry. Really good setup for that. We've got an Andro, Sharlin, Ceres, and Anara. Then their victor's meant to carry, I'm assuming, a Drogos, Ram, Kazumi, and Willow. We should be fine here. Ram gets countered by this quite a bit because he is just a free reset for the talent going for exaction, but technically you don't need to. We'll go for Kronos and Nimble to start. We've got Soul Collector, Mother's Grace, Curse of Blast Blastfly, Empowered Kiss, Fusilard, Earthspit, and Cardio. TDM first here works out quite well. Shot left click, right click on him. Is that going to be the first blood? No, miss that one. Is he going to just drop down? Okay. Went for the ult, instantly died because Drogo's went on left. Okay, that's a start to the video for sure. I don't know exactly how that went so jank, but there we go. Combo with this and the burst with this, just in general, is kind of crazy, even though I barely ever see Cassie. Can't believe I landed that one. Hello, Ram. Shot right click. There's another one. We'll pop the F for the heal. Then we get hit on the Willow here if she peeks around. Shot Q. There we go. All hits on him. Even without the F damage, you do have quite a bit of output. Roll, F, hit, roll again. Never mind. <laughs> Everyone is. There's a shot for the Willow. Shot right click. Is that Victor off? There we go. We got at least one of them. That's all I really need for the video, right? There's a roll in. Shot on the Ram again. Hello, Kazumi. Roll. Shot. One more to finish. That's a triple. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the Ram here, even with the roll heal and everything, because he will obviously just kind of shred me. He's got way too much health for me to deal with at the moment until we get more Gronos going. Popped the ult. Drogos is just chilling here. We can roll in. Maybe surprise him. Left click, right click, left click. Q. There we go. Nice. Go for life rip. Heal up a bit. Roll this way. Maybe catch someone by surprise. Hello, Kazumi. There's another one. There's a left click, right click. I nearly got rid of two there, both on like a third of their health somehow we are losing this one drogos with the ult hello willow there's a shot we'll roll in finish her off there we go that's a victor ult left click right click there's another shot on a roll if we just keep hitting that left click we will get the reset indefinitely there's another one there's another roll there's another one just set myself off the map that was bound to happen at some point we're one for one so far for one to one roll in left click q there we go didn't hit the first shot on the roll there's the reset though because of it there's another one there's another one there's another one yeah you can kind of just do that forever or you need max chronos for it to be super fluid and we can surprise the victor here left click right click they both missed because of inaccuracy he is still gone though if i can just there we go hit him the lag that was crazy roll in hello willow left click q there's another one there's a finish sure i don't know why i'm suddenly actually doing kind of all right with cassie left click q shot roll that one missed we did get the reset though missed that one too that's the most important shot is the one after the roll it's the one i'm messing up the most left click q shots a roll there's a finish i don't feel like i deserve that one left click right click oh my god that's a cheesy double i feel like i'd actually maybe be doing a bit better if i went for the blast setup just because i'm expected to carry for sure team is playing kind of conservative and i just don't feel like i'm really getting the combos off as much as I should and I'm also kind of avoiding the ROM for some reason. There's a shot. There's a roll. There's a shot. Hello Willow. Can I finish you off? The lag is crazy in this one. There's a roll. She off? No. Okay. So shot for him. There's another one. Roll in. Oh my god. Need an add to the combo. He's actually just going to get rid of me here I think in a second. I really don't know how we're going to lose this one. I feel like I've been trending to be honest as much as I really could on a Cassie. I don't know who else I could have even been on to actually have done more work in this game. There's another roll combo. My god. I don't know how I'm not dead yet. There's another one. Shot roll. And yeah. There we go. There's the defeat. I tried to carry really hard there but even with 17866k, we're not going to end up with the win. Serious, I didn't really notice that much. Andro, same thing. Charlene did fine, though. And then I was just doing some in. <laughs> I don't really know I can add commentary words to that one. I feel like even though that was a loss there, that really did show the potential for Cassie. When you're getting the flow and you're sort of just rolling around, getting that burst damage and getting the combo on people, it really adds up. That was like a six minute game and we had like 10k a minute ish damage output something crazy like that which is ridiculous because i wasn't even focusing the ram really but also just because i don't play cassie that often it is a pretty punishing setup and you notice that in the match just there that you get one attempt and if you miss the shot on the roll the combo is just kind of gone other than when somersault triggers and then maybe you get one more attempt at it all right so for game two siege to Mumel, i've obviously gone for cassie we've got a furia and a mave seems like we're gonna have Luckily, a tank here with Anara and then Willow, which would be a fine team comp for this map if we work together as a team. I really like Cassie's skins, but I'm going to stick with this one. It is my favourite for it. Kind of makes it look like Leanne. And then for their side, they look a little bit higher level than us overall. They've got a Fernando, a Furia, Ceres, Caspian, and Kazumi. Quite a lot of people there to counter us. Now that I think about it, Furia Beam, Ceres Stun, Caspian Stun, 
and Kazumi disarm, although that wasn't a problem in the last game. The thing with this is you are quite hard to hit if you're playing it right. Kazumi getting like continuous shots on you and the disarm is going to be kind of hard, especially for like console stuff. This does have an advantage, I think, on a PC, but it's also a bit easier to deal with if you're playing on PC. But even then, if you're going up against a good Cassie with this, it's a pain in the ass. For the talents in this one, we've got Mother's Grace, Cherish, Blast, Flower, Street, Justice, Soul Collector, Empowered, Curse, Major Cadence, Cherish, and Aegis. I probably should have gone for Resilience to start. Shot roll, shot Q, there's another one, and he's out. I can't believe I actually got the timing on that. We'll do one more roll after the court's out. That was so messy. Just healing up a bit. Shot for the Furia. Shot for the Furia. Q there maybe to finish. Okay, Maeve's got me covered. Thank you very much. Shot disengage. I'm just messing this up. Ceres did get her F down there though. Uh, Caspian, there's a roll away. Shot disengage. Shot Q. Don't really know what the plan is here. Get rid of the Kazumi. Sure. Dead there because of the stun from the Furia. Fair enough. That was a really, really awkward round for me. I didn't really know how to place myself. I don't really like Siege Temu very much. I've talked about this a bit in a different video. It's kind of my least favorite map for most characters. Just because when you're playing casuals, there goes Kazumi. Jesus Christ, the burst. It's really, really hard to properly sort of link up as a team and get plays working. Roll get some shots here on the Fernando. We'll pop the ult. I really don't know how to properly explain it though. It just feels like a really awkward map when you're playing casuals. I imagine if you're like a pre-made team, it's probably really, really easy to win games like this just because, yeah, it's really hard to properly get like synchronized with plays and stuff. Just gonna heal up a bit. You pretty much always have a charge shot because the duration on the turn is like eight seconds. Shot for the Nando, shot for the Nando. He's gonna go for the ult here. That's Furia going for the ult. Starting to think I should maybe have gone for record to deal with like the Nando shield, but it's just gonna still be up a ton even if I do go for it. Shot Q is another one. Can we finish off Ceres? Indeed we can. Burst from the Fury ult there. Kind of crazy. There's a roll. Try to finish off Caspian. I know Nanda's on me but it's a knock for him over that way. It's a roll. We finish him off. Shot Q. Shot Q. Shield's gone. Nice. We can roll. We should be able to hold this now for sure. Hello Ceres. You're holding the points. You went for the ult. We can roll. Didn't get a pull there. On me at least. But there's a shot right click. There's another one. Shot to finish. Nope. Shot Q. Finish off Caspian. Is the Nando finally going to get back? I feel like he was out for ages. I don't know where he's at. But okay. He's finally running in there we go we took so long to get rid of everybody there jumping on the point that nando had a whole freaking time to respawn and run back we'll get more chronos keep it rolling we really haven't played enough cassie to know what the exact right play would be here but there goes caspian i think he popped his ult and we somehow outburst him there i don't know if he missed a shot or what happened but we're actually still up we'll get another roll for the extra healing just because if i land the shot then we pretty much get it ready to go again there's a roll shot there's another roll shot there's another roll chronos 2 is just not enough for me to get that spam properly going roll in don't know where anyone's at there's a shot for the nando he's got a hell of a lot of damage reduction there's another one shot right click miss the combo can we finish her off here if i can just get one more shot all right well there is one two there goes caspian pretty cheeky shots there can't believe i landed those tried to roll got stunned i don't think he was even aiming for me i'm pretty sure he was aiming for uh willow there and i just kind of got stuck in the middle between them okay we've got enough to finish off chronos and we can get the full combo going caspian just shredding there getting rid of pretty much everybody that's a quadra i don't know why i know was on the top to be honest but like i said this map not the best for randoms just gonna wait for the team to spawn in and then we'll pop the ult no real reason too because i get the reveal anyway i'm pretty sure if they're spawned after shot right click didn't properly get the combo there that was rough missed that one too jesus christ that could have been so much better trying to focus other people and not just the nando because i feel like if he's the last one up we can kind of deal with it there goes the kazumi don't have any ammo gen there we go though there is the one three i died trying to hold the point messed up the combo as you probably saw but yeah, this map really isn't working for us here as a team. They're playing way more like an actual proper comp and, you know, positioning themselves well, whereas we're really, really split up. And that is, like I said, the biggest reason why I don't really like this map that much. We're going to play on the bottom right here. Don't really know what I'm going to go for. I'm going to try and get rid of a healer, maybe. There's a left click, right click. She's going to go into the F. Oh my god, I'm definitely dead. There's some sort of combo. I did actually land that there, even though it was a mess. Caspian here on me. There's a shot. There's another roll. There's another shot. Oh my god, I need to got the combo. Willow just doing summon. I don't know. Ceres ulting that Fury killed her. Okay. Seems like there we were split up, but kind of in a good way because we got rid of the Kazumi, Anara, and the Maver working together. Fury, I think, was also there, but going to have to roll in here to try and do summon. There's another shot. There's another shot. There's another shot. There's another one. Just having to dance around as best as I can. I did trigger the overtime we've got full chronos right at the freaking last round willow jumping on trying to do the same thing it's over it's a 1-4 here for sure fury just slowly walking yeah there we go 1-4 well deserved win for them to be honest i feel like they definitely played better as a team we did fine i did okay 8-8-8-63k pretty standard i would say in how i would do with this i could have done definitely better but Overall, I stood way better than most of the people on our side, I think. Uh, Maeve, though, was doing pretty well. Props to her. Fury did okay. Anara did okay. Willow, definitely a weak link there, though, as you can see. Overall, just really not working as a team. Shoutouts to their Furia on their side. As you can see, much more even across the board. Although, Caspian 
shredding, even though we lost both games there, still feel like that was a really good showcase for Cassie and the potential that this setup has. Wasn't really able to properly capitalize on the carrying capabilities of it in the second one, especially because of that Nando blocking, let alone the rest of the team that also kind of countered this, but Nando specifically with the shield just completely denies any sort of reset. Definitely enjoy playing Cassie though, and I feel like the spot she's in is perfectly solid. I don't feel like she really needs to be changed too much meta-wise, although maybe some stuff with the other builds, the roll one I feel like is mostly fine, unless it's at max capability and someone really good is playing her, and then it can be a little bit too powerful maybe. Be. Obviously, though, it does depend on a bunch of things other than just the setup on the player, the map, and the team combat makes a really big difference, too. But that's pretty much all I've got to say, though. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, of course, let me know what you want to see me in the next. I'll see you guys all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.